Right, we're going to be looking at one point perspective drawing over here. A um, few little things that you need to get to know is what they call the picture plane over there. And anything that lands on that picture plane, I'm going to be able to see in my picture. That's very important. Uh, we have got what they call the horizon line. Now the horizon line are the, is the height that your eyeballs are at in relation to the object. Now there's the front view of the object and you can see that my eyeballs are very much higher than the object. So I'll be able to look down on top of the object, which means that I'll be able to see the top view of the object. Okay. Um, and I've got this point over here called the stationary point. Okay. The stationary point is my position looking across at the object. Now, obviously there I am, I'm looking across that part of it over there. Whatever is touching the picture plane at the moment is the front view of the object. Okay. Now they've drawn this little front view of the object off to the side over here. And the very first thing that we're going to do with this particular drawing is that we're going to transfer all of that information across to directly below my top view of the object. So my front view is going to be directly below the top view. I'm just going to draw that in very, very quickly. Right, that's that done. And that's my front view dragged across to directly below the top view. Uh, now my next step is to take a little line going up to the horizon line from my stationary point. Construction line going up there. And at that point, I'm going to get what they call a vanishing point. All right. Now, uh, if you have ever traveled any distance, um, you would have found a very, very long straight road and you'll find that that road sort of disappears off towards a point where it literally disappears on the horizon. We're going to do exactly the same thing with this little block over here, this front view. I'm going to take lines going out to the vanishing point. There we go. Line coming out to the vanishing point from each and every one of these corners. There it goes. Right. Go that and that over there. You won't be able to see that one, you won't be able to see any other. Right, if you look at it, I've got this object that looks as though it's been stretched out of that point over there. Okay, all the lines are going back. Um, my thing now is to say, well, this object is not an indefinite object. Okay. So it needs to have a certain stopping point. How am I going to get that? All right, what I do now is I look from my stationary point. If you look over here, what can I see on my picture plane? Well, I can see anything that is on the front over here. If I take lines going out there, I'll be able to see anything on that front view. All right, anything that is on that picture plane 
I can see in my picture. Well, there it is. Whatever I can see as my front view, you can see I have got over there in my front view. What is not on the picture plane at the moment are these points at the back. How am I going to get those points that are on the back of this thing to come down and be on the picture plane? Let me just show you the object. There it is. I'm needing to find those points at the back of this. All of these points at the back, I need to find where they are in relation to that picture, uh, the, the picture plane. How do I do that? Well, I take lines coming down from the back corner over here. Coming down. Where is it coming down to? It is coming down to the, where I'm standing, the stationary point. Okay, so there it is, coming from that back corner down to my stationary point. As soon as it crosses over the picture plane, I will be able to see that in my picture. So I'm going to drop a line coming straight down from there and place it on the picture. Dropping a line straight down from there and I will be able to see that on the picture. Let's have a look. Just going to take that, make that a bit darker. I will be able to see that piece over there and that piece over there. If you look at it, what have I drawn? I've drawn that piece over there and that piece over there. Those were the corners that I dropped down to the picture plane over here. And I can straight away draw some lines coming out from the front view to those two corners that and like that there we go all right um, now you can see that there's a piece of line which is going horizontal over here okay uh, you've got a piece of line at the back there which is going to go horizontal if it is horizontal in this view over here it's going to be horizontal in this view over here so I can take a line coming across from that corner, horizontal, and that is going to link up with this corner over here, coming out to there. There we go. Okay, there would be hidden detail going out to that point over there, but you can't see that, but definitely there's a line that's traveling through to that point over there. Same story over here. I've got this little piece of line coming across. There it is at the top, but it is horizontal, and if it's horizontal over there, I can take it out horizontal over here too. There it is, coming out. If I wanted to, I could also check and see whether I'm do doing this right by taking a line coming from that point at the back there that I just do drew the line down to the picture plane. If I've drawn accurately, I should find that it drops straight down onto that point over there. So it's going horizontal, it's going horizontal, but I can also take that down to the stationary point, crosses over the picture plane, drops down, and I'll find that point. So I can do that little line over there. Right, once I've got that, well, I need to find this point over here somewhere. You can see that it is going down towards that point, so I'm going to be drawing that line over there. You can see I've got a line coming out from there, going across to that point. There it is, there's the line going out, and I need to find that intersection. How am I going to do that? Take a line coming from that back corner over there, crosses over the picture plane, and I'm going to drop that down so that it intersects with this line coming out here. Once I've got that, I can draw in that line going down to there and that line coming across from there. Okay, same story on this side. Got this line coming out. I need to find that point over there. Take a line coming down from that corner at the back there. That would be from that point going down to that point. I've got that. I haven't yet got that point at the top there. Um, let me try and find that for you as well. 
Um, all right, let's just find this over here, that point over there. That would be that point over there, linking up with the line that comes out from over here. Take that down to the stationary point, crosses over the picture plane, drop that down, and it links up with the line coming out of that corner over there. Draw that going across. Okay, um, something that we need to have a look at. You can see that there is a line that is dropping straight down over here. If it's dropping straight down, well, I can drop a line straight down on this view. Drop a line straight down over there. And I can draw a line going horizontal over here. Why? Because I've got that little piece of line which is going horizontal there. Draw a line coming out from there. Right, I need to find that corner over there. Take a line coming from that back corner over there down to the picture plane. Drop that down, straight down onto there. And if I've drawn accurately, I should find that I've got that piece of line over there. See that little piece of line over there that I've just drawn is in line with that little piece of line over there. And you can see that. There it is, there it is, and those two pieces of line are in line with each other. I can now link that point over there up to there. I can draw a line coming out from there to there. I can draw a line coming out from there to there. And I can finish off these lines that, like any other 3D view, I should have three lines coming out of each corner. Where was that line going off to? It's going off to the vanishing point. Where's this line going off to? It's going off to the vanishing point. Obviously it has a point further back which I could find, but I don't need to because we don't need to put hidden detail on these views. And that is our one point perspective drawing done. I hope that helped.